For today's video, we are going to talk about how to rewrite general form to standard form of equation of parabola, and we are going to explain everything in details. On the given set of example, we are going to determine the coordinates of the vertex, then write the equations in standard form. On number 1, we have x squared minus 2x minus 24y plus 1 equals 0. So to write the given equation to standard form, let us move negative 24y and positive 1 to the side of 0. So this will be x squared minus 2x equals 24y minus 1. And let us perform a completing the square. We have x squared minus 2x plus blank equals 24y minus 1 plus blank. So what must be the number to make this expression as a perfect square trinomial? So let us divide negative 2 by the constant 2 and that is negative 1. Negative 1 multiplied by itself and that is positive 1. So we are going to add 1 on both sides of the equation. So let us factor this one. The square root of x squared is x. And the sign of the middle term is negative. And the square root of 1 is 1. And then we have a square. And then we have... 24y, and let us cancel this one. So this will be our standard form of equation of parabola. And since the given equation is written in the form of x minus h squared equals 4a times quantity y minus k, our vertex that is h and k, so the value of h that is 1, that is the opposite sign of negative 1, and since we don't have k in our answer, so our k that is 0, and this will be our vertex. On example number 2, we have x squared plus 8x plus 12y plus 64 equals 0. So to write the given equation into standard form, let us move 12y and 64 on the other side of equation. So let us have x squared plus 8x equals negative 12y minus 64. And let us perform completing the square. Let us have x squared plus 8x plus blank equals negative 12y minus 64 plus blank. So what must be the number to make this expression as a perfect square trinomial? So let us have 8 divided by the constant 2 and that is 4. 4 squared that is 16. So we are going to add 16 on both sides of the equation. So let us factor this one. The square root of x squared that is x sine of the middle term is positive, square root of 16, that is 4, and then we have square. And then let us have negative 12y, negative 64 plus 16, that is negative 48. So let us write x plus 4 square, and then let us factor this one. The greatest common factor between negative 12y and negative 48, that is negative 12, and then let us divide negative 12y, divide by negative 12, that is y. Negative 48 divided by negative 12, that is positive 4. And this will be the standard form of equation of parabola. And this one is written in the form of x minus h square equals negative 4a times quantity y minus k. And to find the vertex, that is h and k. So the value of h, that is negative 4, that is the opposite sign of positive 4. And k is also negative 4. And this will be our vertex. Example number 3, we have y squared minus 8x plus 10y plus 57 equals 0. So to write the given equation into standard form, let us move negative 8x and 57 on the other side of equation. So let us have y squared plus 10y equals 8x minus 57. And then, let us perform a completing the square. Let us have y square plus 10y plus blank equals 8x minus 57 plus blank. So what must be the number to make this expression as a perfect square trinomial? So let us have 10 divided by the constant 2 and that is 5. 5 squared that is 25. So we are going to add 25 on both sides of equation. And then, let us factor this one. The square root of y squared, that is y. Sign of the middle term is positive. Square root of 25 is 5. And then we have a square. And then, let us have 8x 
and then negative 57 plus 25 that is negative 32 so let us write quantity y plus 5 square and let us find the greatest common factor between 8x and negative 32 and that is 8 and let us divide 8x divided by 8 that is x negative 32 divided by 8 that is negative 4 and this will be the standard form of equation of parabola and this one is written in the form of y minus k square equals 4a times quantity x minus h and to find the vertex that is h and k so our h that is positive 4 that is the opposite sign of negative 4 and k that is negative 5 and this will be our vertex on number 4, we have y squared plus 40x minus 6y plus 209 equals 0. So to convert this one into standard form, let us move 40x and 209 to the side of 0. So this will be y squared minus 6y equals negative 40x minus 209. And then let us perform a completing the square. So we have y squared minus 6y plus blank equals negative 40x minus 209 plus blank. So what must be the number to make this expression as a perfect square trinomial? Let us have negative 6 divided by the constant 2 and that is negative 3. Negative 3 multiplied by itself that is positive 9. So we are going to add 9 on both sides of the equation. So let us factor this one. The square root of y square is y. Sign of the middle term is negative. Square root of 9 is 3 and then we have a square and then let us write negative 40x and then we have negative 209 plus 9 that is negative 200 and then let us write y minus 3 and then we have a square the greatest common factor between negative 40x and negative 200 that is negative 40 and let us divide negative 40x divided by negative 40 that is x negative 200 divided by negative 40 that is positive 5 and this will be our standard form and this one is written in the form of y minus k square equals negative 4a times quantity x minus h and our vertex that is h and k so the value of h that is negative 5 that is the opposite sign of positive 5 and our k that is positive 3 and this will be our answer. On example number 5, we have y squared plus 30x minus 30 equals 0. So to convert this one into standard form, let us just simply move 30x and negative 30 to the side of 0. So this will be y squared equals negative 30x plus 30. And let us just factor this one. So we have y squared and then the greatest common factor between negative 30x and positive 30 that is negative 30 and let us divide negative 30x divided by negative 30 that is x 30 divided by negative 30 is negative 1 so this will be our standard form and this one is written in the form of y minus k square equals negative 4a times quantity x minus h and our vertex that is h and k and the value of h that is positive 1 that is the opposite sign of negative 1 and since we don't have k that is 0 and this will be our vertex on number 6 we have x squared minus 100y plus 100 equals 0 let us move negative 100y and 100 on the other side of equation this will be x squared equals 100y minus 100 and let us write x square and let us factor this one just like what we did in example number 5. The greatest common factor between 100y and negative 100 that is 100. And let us divide 100y divided by 100 is y. And then negative 100 divided by 100 that is negative 1. And this will be our standard form. And this one is written in the form of x minus h square equals 4a times quantity y minus k and to find the vertex which is h and k so we have h that is 0 because we don't have h in our equation and then k that is positive 
one and this will be our answer so i hope you've learned from this video thank you so much for watching and god bless us all